house to come together. Hmm. But ain't they gonna be at one of those those same type of yeah? I just don't like the type of thing. Oh. <laughs> Bucka, 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 bucka. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Can We Talk? This your boy Eric. We're here with the usual suspects, Shayna and Anthony, and it's been a long, long three weeks, y'all. We're resurrected, man. Happy Easter. <laughs> happy, yeah, happy Easter, y'all. So Praise we're the Lord, y'all. We're we're back after a hiatus of about what three weeks. Uh, about. We got yeah, about so we got to recap a lot of stuff. Um, but how have y'all three weeks been? It's been good. Yeah, busy. I know. It's been good, man. Busy. Um, it's been good. I'm. I no complaints. I like to stay busy, man. I have to, but um, idle hands are the devil's playground. Yeah, it definitely is. But I, Shana gave us some good news about Jordan. Oh uh, yeah, she's a uh, um, she's an officially like a, a gold medalist. She competed in the uh, city championship. Yeah. And placed first in both her relays. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Way to go, Jordan. That's way how you be go, an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, way to go, Jordan. So, so way to go. you got to buy her something for this. Like, she's a gold First medalist. First of all, now. she watches this show, so well, live. <laughs> J- Jordan, Jordan, I'm going to make sure your mom buys you something oh. for this. Oh, shoot. I've been cussing on this show. <laughs> she's heard worse from me. That's why we have a swear jar. Oh. <laughs> so, were you proud, though? How was oh, the- yes, yes, yes. I was proud of I was proud of my baby. I was proud to see all the kids there competing. So, mm. it it was it was a nice atmosphere. I enjoyed myself. You said it was different. Like the district meet was different than the other meet you went to. Yeah, it was mo- it was only black kids at this. Meet. Okay. It was yeah. only black kids. Like you know, other meets they like warm up to Bob Seger. And, <laughs> <laughs> and this one they play. You know, they played the the songs that all the kids like the Drake. And okay. The Travis Scott. Had a little culture to it, right? Yeah. So of course, like. Usually when they line up to warm up, they just line up, jump in the pool, uh-huh. you know, warm up. But this time they were, like, dancing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Y'all, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, I guess we got to talk about We got to talk about Nipsey. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace to Rest Nipsey. Rest in peace, man. I was, that was, people was, I was shocked. Like, this guy was done so much for the community who decided to stay in the community when he could have left, right? He had, he had money. He had money. He could have just went to the suburb somewhere, but he decided to stay and get back. He employs so many. I think he said he employed like forty thousand people over his time. So it's sad. Yeah, it was a shock. I heard about it in the middle of the night. At first, I thought it was like you know, like a false rumor on the news. Yeah. And then I actually went to the news, and you know, it was pretty sad. Yeah. Um. You know, me and Eric are Twitter addicts, so right. <laughs> I was on Twitter when I first heard. Like it was like it came in increments. Like he got shot, mm-hmm. and then it was like one person died, and yeah. then it was like the person that passed away was uh Nipsey was Nipsey Hustle. And but the other was it the other gentleman that got shot, he's mm-hmm. paralyzed. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. wow. Because they tried to charge him they with a uh parole violation for oh, being around Nipsey. But it's crazy. they the DA in, eventually dropped the charges, but they was trying to send him back. Mm. I mean do y'all think anything good can come out of this? I hope so. I, I think so. I mean I think people are being more sort of they understand what he meant to the community, sort of what he did. And I think that hopefully other celebrities, and not even celebrities, just like everyday people, just get back, get their time, like get their resources. Um, I seen a lot, I saw a lot of people, like, they're kind of deterred from it. Think so? Yeah, they were like, oh, this, this is why you can't do it. Like, this is why you can't give back. And once I leave, or once you leave the hood, you ain't supposed to never go back. I mean, do you think that's a valid point, though? Mm, no. I think if you lead a hood, I mean, we had an episode on this. If you lead a hood, you should at least, you if you put yourself in a blessed position where you're able to give back, you should at least give back to the hood or try to, yeah. you know, restore certain places of the hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? You and we live in, like, whether you leave the hood or you stay there, the whole world is a community. Mm-hmm. So I can build my child up as much as I can, but what does it mean if her counterpart is not built up? It's true. That is true. I mean, that's a great way to look at it. But I also heard D.L. Hughley say something similar to what you said. It was like, um... You know, at a certain point, in order to grow, you got to move on. And I, I, I but could how s- can you? What a, define growth? Like he he employed forty one thousand people. Right, and that's why I was kind of like upset with what what he said because it's almost like once you get on, then it's time for you to just leave the old past behind. But these people need support too. Like these are the people you grew up with, your family, your friends. So why neglect them because you got money? All right, so oh, it's a tough thing. But you know, I think that hopefully more people are motivated to. 
um, just do good in the community and just be positive, you know, um, positive assets. But it's sad. Bro. This guy was 33 years old, you know, had three, what, three kids? Two. Two kids? Oh, two kids. Are, yeah, two. Yeah, they were two his. children. Yeah. That's, that's tough. Um, there was some but people that. But he took care of more than just his children. Right. Right. What were you going to say? Uh, there were some people that delayed their album releases that week um, in, mm. um, in memory to him, you know, like Schoolboy Q and um, YG. Yeah. yeah. And I haven't seen, like, so broad of an outreaching of support, like, from just, like, athletes to, like, even, like, just media. Like, media coverage was was really high, and I was I was happy. You know, I was happy that they was actually to show the positive sides, and the, the things that he did in the community was highlighted. So that was good. Um, also, earlier this week, we had the the Mueller report, or Mueller report, sorry, that came out um, to the public, right? So it was about 400 and some odd pages that kind of detailed – the things that he did, Donald Trump did or didn't do successfully. So um, apparently there was no collusion per se, but there was a lot of obstruction. But William Barr, who's the acting attorney, attorney general, has... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this part is redacted. <laughs> right, this part is redacted. Uh, yeah, every, it was like whole pages redacted, just black. Um, but Attorney Barr, or Attorney uh, General Barr, <laughs> essentially is trying to cover up for... Donald Trump. He's he's trying to make it or soften the blow or the impact of the report. It was a mess. How what, how long has Donald Trump been in office? What three years? Yeah. Well, how long did they like, spend on this report? I think and two. we we discussed this last time about how the media instead of reporting wow. on the real like the real like I don't give a fuck about that. Like I really yeah. don't. Like we have more pressing issues and. A lot of the, like the news outlets, they spent a lot of time on Russia this, Russia that, blah 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 blah. The Russian bots doing this and you know doing that because they're saying like they have kind of infiltrated Twitter mm. and you know other social media websites. But the onus is on the owners of the websites that you have to put some type of verification process in place. Yeah, but I think that's also the government's oversight though. Like I think the government has to p- create some restrictions for where people can't create these fake accounts and these, you know, spread disinformation. Um, but at the end of the day, we found out that Russia did try to hack our elections, right? So I think that's the main main thing we need to focus on. Like, how can we make sure that the next election this doesn't happen? And I think that's the even bigger pressing point right now. You know how many elections we didn't hacked all over the world? It, yeah. Time has passed, man. I didn't know he was three years in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm glad we made it. Hey, we made it, man. Yeah. He was gonna Barely. Blow it. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. Like I, I, I thought, I thought something was gonna happen. But. I did hear though, mm. like back during the election, this guy told me that if Trump won, that Korea was gonna come over and like destroy us all. Mm. Well, they got nuclear weapons now. I guess that came out where they got the. We're nukes. doing just fine on our own, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're destroying. We're riding from the inside out. That's kind of what we're doing. Um. Oh, I actually yesterday saw, yesterday I saw a, a hashtag. It was justice for uh, Luca. So in um, Broward County, Florida, it was this young man. I think they were outside of McDonald's after school. He went to go pick up his friend's phone, who was being arrested. He was on the ground being arrested. This police officer apparently like pushed the kid, sprayed sprayed him with pepper spray, threw him on the ground, pushed his head into the ground, and like just punched him in the face. It was it was horrible. I don't know if y'all got to see the video of that, but. Again, yeah. this, pr- this police police brutality, you know, it was unnecessary. Um, I mean, again, I doubt anything's going to come out of it because this is America. This is the police force that we kind of deal with. Um, but, again, it just highlights another sort of issue that faces our country that we still haven't really resolved. That's ch- that sounds like child abuse. It is. This kid was, like, 15 years old. The room into, like, pepper sprayed him and then tossed him down, pushed his head into the ground, like, twice, and then... Punch him in the face. And what, where where was this? Like what this what was, what location? Like this was uh like Fort Lauderdale or wherever Broward County is. I think that's the Fort Lauderdale area in Florida. So, so like was this in the street or? It was in like the street. So it was a bunch of kids kind of huddled up. Um, okay. The cops were arresting this one kid. He was on the ground. The friend went to pick up his phone because he was laying on the ground. Then the police officer kind of got upset with him and just you know it escalated from there. But um. Well, hopefully there's justice. <laughs> We say we say that a lot, y'all. I mean, and all you can do is. is hope. All you can do is hope, and you know, protest. Yeah, 
What else happened over these past three weeks? Um, uh, Sri Lanka. Oh yeah, Sri Lanka. Yeah, peace to all them. This yeah, this, this morning. Yeah, um, apparently someone blew up. What, a, yeah, I don't know. Like it said, it was an explosion, but yeah. you know how like sometimes the news kind of frames. Things. Right, right. And so I guess uh, two hundred and four or five people died so far. Like, at, at least two hundred and seven. Two hundred and seven. Wow. wow, wow. So rest, yeah, rest in peace to those who lost their lives there. It's, just, it's sad. Like it's just sickening. You know the, the state that we live in right now. Um, yeah, like you can't even go worship. You know, Muslim, Christian, whatever. Like people getting attacked and killed for their beliefs, man. It's, it's sad. It is sad because beliefs. You know, I mean, I'm a God fearing man, but I'm not going to condemn an atheist. You're free to believe right. what you want to believe, and that should be like a two way street. Atheists shouldn't come at me for believing mm-hmm. in God. You know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> you know, time and time again. There has been persecution for being in a religion and being out of a religion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that needs to stop. And, and for me, I think that obviously all religions teach the same main principles. You know, just moral, being just being nice to people, um, having strong moral decency, stuff like that. I think that once you start to translate it, people get sort of caught up in like, oh, this isn't you know, they don't believe in Jesus, but. Or they don't believe in God, but no, you know, Allah is God translated in, in, into English. So yeah. it's kind of just frustrating how we take religion and sort of, you know, use it as a weapon, you know, against other people. And it's been happening since the beginning of time, so it's nothing new. You know, it's now it's just we can see it. It's more prevalent. Prevalent. Um, but it's just sad, man. Rest in peace to those who lost their lives, man. We got anything else? Okay. I think that might be it over yeah. the past three weeks. I, I mean, a lot of stuff happened. I need to be lifted, man. I feel like every time we do current events, I get depressed. <laughs> That's because it's horrible, man. <laughs> it's not Shana, I need you to lift me up. What, what we got in the hip hop corner? I didn't listen to nothing. I know. Uh, when is the schoolboy Q drop? Not yet. Okay. But I know he got a song called Chopsticks Out with Travis Scott. Because he did go on Instagram Live and he was asking, he was like, He's, he's like, somebody tag J. Cole because I want to, uh, what's that machine for the streams that people use? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, the, the streams might be fake, but is the money real? That's crazy. <laughs> he's like, I need that machine. That's J. Crazy. Cole's been killing it, man. He's been killing it. Yeah. He's, um, been, he's been out there. Y'all didn't see Beyonce. So. Didn't Kodak Black get arrested or something? Kodak Black, like that whole thing with T.I. and Kodak hmm. Black. It's for attention. I, from I from uh, Donald Trump's words on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I, I, don't, I don't give that crap no light, you know no. what I mean? But, yeah, he got arrested. Is that the border or something? At the border. Who tries to bring a, a gun over the border, across the border? That's like I mean, you rule number one. Try. You can, you can tr- No, they're going to search you. If you're in a tour bus, oh, they're yeah. going to definitely search you. Yeah, they're going to search the tour bus. What do you think about his comments? Um, I mean, well, I think his comments to... About Lauren, Laura, Lauren London, were kind of out of order. They were definitely sure. out of order. They were definitely out of pocket. It's for attention. And yeah, and but, he, sh- he should have been checked. But I kind of get what he's saying. Like y'all got my phone number. Yeah. You can call me. But then again, you did say this publicly, so yeah. you you need to be checked publicly. Got to get checked. Yeah. But he's. I mean, we are in that era where someone is judged in the court of public opinion. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't shocking that everybody dragged him for it and that, you know, some radio stations pulled his music. It wasn't shocking. I mean, but sometimes it's rifle, though. But at what point do you pull his music? Because he's been accused of a lot of right. yeah. dastardly yeah. things. <laughs> yeah. And that was the breaking point. Mm. Well, 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 I mean, I don't really listen to Kodak Black anyway. So yeah, I, mean, me neither. I, mean, I don't care. Things change with era to era, so we'll see where we at in about five years if it's still yeah, like that. You know what I mean? Absolutely, you are absolutely right. Things change. You know, we get sensitive, then we 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 like we bring a little offense into the group, and then we get sensitive again. You know, things change. Mm-hmm. Um, so tell me about homecoming. Tell me why you love it. Oh yeah, because it's Beyonce. But I don't need two I, hours, I, I, Beyonce. I, 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 yes, I need you some, do. I, I need something more you than need that. Five What's going hours. On? <laughs> I saw Homecoming trending on Twitter, and I was like, "Why is the Spider Man movie popular?" Again? <laughs> <laughs> oh Get out of here, Randy. Well, <laughs> I like it because now I don't have to search for bits and pieces of the Coachella performance. Yeah. I can watch the whole thing. But it's also the behind the scenes of, you know, her documenting, like, what she went, like, they went through eight months of rehearsal. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, like, eight months of rehearsal. She was, like, fresh off of, you know, having her twins and yeah. 
Um, she admitted that that was a very hard pregnancy for her. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I, I I thoroughly enjoyed Beyonce, so, of course, I enjoyed that. But you know what? I got to admit, she is a boss because she made money off of Coachella twice. Think about that. Twice. So that's that's pretty, I mean, you can't knock her for that. Like she, And it's been a year later. Like, come on. People make bank off of Coachella, man. I mean, Ariana <laughs> Grande had a nice payday from Coachella. Yeah. Our boy Donald Glover was there. Um, yeah, a lot of few people was at Coachella. Janelle Monae. Yeah. How much did Beyonce get paid for, from Netflix to do this? They said she got a deal. Is it our yeah. business? Too much. <laughs> it, it Too much. Much. I mean, everybody <laughs> makes like it seems like like oh like every like all oh, Netflix is in debt, and then you hear about this big deal Where that they, they make. Money from? Netflix. They are spending their money though. They, they spend. spending their money, but they have more duds than not. They do, but it's starting to get a lot better in terms of well. Not not quite. I'll talk about that for your <laughs> segment. But uh, <laughs> No, I hear it's getting better, though. You it's, know? it's getting you better. Got, you got the Black Summers. You got the... Uh, Did you watch that? They price I'm going to get into though. it. I heard it's great. Um, they price went up, though, man. I, I, yeah, I don't mind paying had, that much. They had to pay Beyonce. Right. right. I don't mind paying that much for it. And, you know, we got to talk about this Disney Plus thing, too. Oh, man, I'm, oh, getting, yeah. I'm getting sick all these subscriptions. It's gonna, though, it's, we might as well just have cable. Seriously. I mean, the only thing with that is that it's $6. I don't listen. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I, I might not get it, but that's that's tempting. How they bring, many they, subscriptions do you pay for? Um, I really just have Netflix, and I got Prime through my phone account, and that's it. Okay. I didn't renew Prime this year because I haven't been watching anything on it. I love and the two day shipping. I get the two day shipping if you I spend over thirty five dollars anyway. Right? So. Yeah. yeah, that's true. You have to watch the Prime shows. But I, I'm excited I just for up on Disney Bosch. Plus because it's six ninety nine or. Sixty nine dollars for the whole year. Oh, so you get a discount. Nice. They're year. bringing out the vault 69, too. Nice. They're bringing out the vault, the whole vault. Yeah, they'll have like Pixar, Disney classics, everything. Thirty seasons of The Simpsons. But I don't know if I'm gonna watch it though. <laughs> they'll have a uh, new Scarlet or uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision show. They'll have a new Hawkeye. Yeah, they, 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 got, I was, Falcon, they got Loki. They got Loki. Winter Soldier out. show and the Loki show. Um, I would have I would have appreciated it more if Disney partnered with like Netflix or. Hulu. I'm like, all right, we're gonna do a joint effort. They already Disney do. owns Hulu. Oh, they, they own sixty percent. They could have just put all their stuff there and just charge more. They're They're some stuff keeping on the there. more adult stuff on Hulu and the oh. more family friendly stuff is going to Disney Plus is what I've heard. Yeah, oh, they just... do have. They yeah, they are a partner with um, Hulu because my daughter watches Casey Undercover every day. <laughs> every, every day. <laughs> It's just something about these subscriptions that I'm kind of I'm fed up with. I'm I sorry. just got an email that my Netflix subscription is going up to twelve ninety nine a month. Oh yeah, that's what it we just talk- went up to yeah. ten ninety nine a month. That's what we talked about a few months ago. But yeah. I, I think Netflix is worth thirteen dollars a month. I would say they I are. Mean, yes. I remember they, yes. they like they didn't even charge for the streaming. That's mm-hmm. how long they they didn't even charge for it. Like well, because you got the DVDs, right? So this is what I got. I got Netflix, AMC, A List, Prime, and Audible. Did they mm. stop the DVDs? I, I don't know if DVDs they stopped. DVDs are a separate thing. You can still do DVDs yeah. through Netflix, but it's really hard to find them on the website. Yeah. Like, they don't want you to do that. Because I know my mom, she used to do it, and then she like, I stopped this movie for a month. Like, <laughs> right. See that? But that's why I don't do, um, like, HBO, because I can't, I can't watch Game of Thrones because I don't have HBO subscription. I mean, there are, and it's not with there are ways you can do it. I mean, no, <laughs> not, not even a ski mask way. If if somebody you know has Uverse or a cable account, you can mm. use their account and use HBO Go. That's not the ski mask way. That's the... Um, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's not the ski mask way. That's the legal way. If you, well, have, a, if you have a conscious... I don't know if it's legal, right. Yes, it is. It's a contract violation. Right. <laughs> that's only, the, one, uh, only one user per household or something like that. I have it's Hulu, good. Netflix, you which I'm bill. considering deleting Netflix. Yeah. Uh, I just got charged for CBS for some reason. I thought I had a three month trial, but uh, <laughs> I usually subscribe to CBS for uh, Star Trek Discovery. Okay, uh, but that's over. But I forgot to cancel because we haven't watched the last episode yet, so I don't want to cancel until I see the last episode. But CBS also has um, Twilight Zone. CBS. The new one? Yeah. Is it good? I haven't. I've I haven't seen that. it. I haven't seen it because I don't have CBS. I thought about stuff. you know you know I, catching up on NCIS because it's been a while since I've watched that. That's a good show. I think we're heading yeah. into my territory here. And then I, I have HBO for Game of Thrones. Man. We got anything else for the corner? Uh, no. All right, so we can head in. I got a lot, I got a lot of cents, man. You know, I got like 8, 10, Pet 15, cemetery. 20 cents. You know what I mean? Yeah. No hand claps, please. <laughs> <laughs> I said no hand claps, please. <laughs> Randy, look, cue the hand claps. <laughs> you said no hand claps. All right. 
just because you <laughs> like it. You got to get a cute. Yeah, I'll give you the. I'll give you the other one. Uh, no hand claps, please. I oh. told you so. Oh. No hand, the, no crowd the crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. No hand claps. <laughs> um, all right. Now, no, seriously, no hand claps. Can you turn that off? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. But um, I've seen a lot, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down the list. Um, I saw Amazing Grace. Okay. That's a great film. So. Aretha Franklin recorded a gospel album called Amazing Grace. For those of y'all that listen that don't know, uh, I think it's the best-selling gospel record of all time. Mm. So the thing about this film, I was a little iffy on seeing it because I'm like, well, am I just going to see Aretha sing? So I went to see it, and it took them while. So it took them a long time to compile all this footage and like um, re- restore the audio and make it into like a watchable documentary. But it's Aretha Franklin in the church. She's recording the album live in front of an audience, and there's something about when you see her sing and you see her sing with passion and, you know, just, you know, a lot of just pain and passion and just strength with these classic gospel songs. And she turns Marvin Gaye's Holy Holy into like a gospel song, too. It's just it's just powerful. And even when she sings the title track, Amazing Grace is just a powerful thing to watch. You see people in the in the audience, you know, feeling the spirit. And it was funny because in the audience, you know, like, like in the theater audience, like where I was sitting, you know, everybody was mostly like nodding their heads and liking the music. But there was this old lady behind me that was dancing in the aisle. <laughs> like she was at church, like dancing in the aisle. <laughs> and there was another lady saying, hey, miss, can you keep it down? And she mm. was just dancing, minding her own business, like, go, Aretha, go. <laughs> it was a lively, lively film, man. That's I loved it. That's how I was it. at home watching Beyonce. Oh, my God. Get it, bitch. <laughs> oh, <Beyonce. laughs> I fully recommend it, man. I mean, okay. it's, it's the queen of soul just like pouring her heart out. But I think it's best to see it live because if you watch it at home, I mean, it's still powerful, but I don't think you'll have like, yeah. it's not as strong at home. So I say watch like it in Black theaters while you can. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay, so what else I got here? Um, Yesterday, me and my mom, you know, we went to see Medea's Farewell play. Oh, okay. how was that? That was very good, man. Very funny. You know, Tyler Perry and the crew, they brought it. You had Mr. Brown. You had Cora. You had um, the young lady from uh, uh, House of Pain, the wife, Cassie mm-hmm. Davis. She was there. Yeah, it was a great play. You know, it was the usual Tyler Perry plot. You know, like yeah. um, a young man is graduating. All his family gets together, including Medea. And there's some drama within the family. And Medea, you know, gives life lessons and, like, makes jokes and all that. <laughs> it was great. But... Usually when I watch the plays on DVD, I skip past the singing. Okay. But, like, in the audience, the singing, like, you can really feel, like, the voices and, you know, makes you want to get up and clap your hands. It okay. was just a great experience, man. It's probably it's my mom's first and last Medea play. I took her to go see it because, you know, it's the last Medea play. I love the singing in those type of plays. Yeah, I mean, you, I appreciated it more as I grew up, but um, I loved it, man. There was a funny bit where Tyler Perry breaks character. I, I hated that watching the plays on DVD because I'm like, dang, man, they don't <laughs> stick to it. they don't stick to the script. But it's funny because when me and my mom got there, it was ten minutes before it started, but we had to wait in line because everybody mm-hmm. was still coming in, so we missed like the first five minutes. So thirty minutes in, we're seated down, we're enjoying the play. Medea already comes in. Tyler Perry, because people are still coming in. Tyler Perry breaks character and said, "Damn it, I told y'all it started at three. <laughs> y'all coming in at three thirty. Like, what, what's wrong with y'all?" <laughs> And you ain't gonna get a refund, uh, so you might as well just sit down and enjoy it. That's you know? the like the the one of the best things about the plays because um, I remember I saw a Diary of a Mad Black Woman live, and this, and this was like right awesome. after nine eleven, <laughs> so it was totally like it was stuck kind of to the script, but like his character, it kind of like they started telling like Taliban jokes and uh, stuff like it was different from the DVDs. Mm. So that's what I like most about his plays that when you go see them live it's not like when you you know allegedly watch them on the dvds and now we got a new subscription service (laughs) oh yeah yeah, yeah. tyler vision wait seriously tyler perry and you know what i wouldn't pay for it but it makes sense being that all the shows he has and all the movies we got a tyler vision coming he's milking this whole farewell medea thing man i swear no 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 no. you know we got uh, listen, he has a lot of material if loving you is wrong the have mm. and have nots meet the oh, pa- yeah. meet the browns uh house of pain he has a lot of material that's enough for a subscription service i'm not, I'm not paying for it though. no no you don't have to <laughs> but i'm saying like it makes sense business wise i'm like uh, all right it ain't like a dame dash studios where dame dash only made like you know 
like just, I'm not that many films, but <laughs> right. Tyler Perry, like all right, I got you, Tyler right. Vision. I'm I'm with it. I guess. All right. He signed Big up for that. Nah. What else okay. did you see? So this is the last thing, man. Um, I did something very daunting but stupid because I did it last minute. In preparation for Endgame, <laughs> I'm trying to watch every Marvel movie starting with Iron Man oh 1. My God. Oh, my Good luck. And I started on Monday. Oh, and, okay. I, and I got to go to work. so That's going to take you a while. <laughs> I'm at Iron Man 3, and I'm, I'm still trying to tread along. I ain't going to make it. You should no, take you a not. break and watch Beyonce. Yeah, oh. all right. <laughs> You should, that you comes should. after. But um, I ain't going to make it, man. But I, I am loving seeing everything from the beginning and how Marvel kind of stuck to the script. Mm. You look at the post credit scenes and even like the Marvel one-shots in between, they they stuck to the script. And Thanos was introduced way, way back in the day mm -hmm. after Avengers 1. So mm. I love how they just like, the traject how the trajectory is moving towards this end game right here because this yeah. is the end game. It is. I'm so excited, man. I cannot wait. I'm glad they haven't ruined anything for us. No, somebody somebody put the spoilers I on. I didn't uh, watch that. On and I'm not going to watch it. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. I was like, nope. I ain't going nope, to watch it. Nope. <laughs> you can mute certain words. I've already muted Avengers, Endgame, all that. I should. Yeah, because I was about to ruin it. I clicked on this thing like, no, let me not do this. But uh, yeah, people people want to ruin everything for us. Man, I hate it. Did, I know Don't you saw Pet Cemetery. Oh, did you see it? I still got to see it. Uh, I'm putting everything on hold until Endgame. I'm going to see Pet Cemetery and Shazam, and I'm going to let y'all know. I love Shazam. I love that. That was really so good. People said Shazam was good. It I'm, was. I'm, I liked I'm it. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. I loved it. I do have um, a couple of movies I watched on Netflix. But he ain't seen Heat, though. <laughs> What's up with that, bro? <laughs> I, I, I'll see it today. Man, I'll watch like it tonight. The, one of the best like, action gun, movies of all time. Gun fighting I'll, I'll scenes watch it tonight. ever. Um, so on Netflix, I saw The Silence. Didn't want to see it. No. Stanley Tucci, I heard of it. It's pretty much a knockoff of um, a Quiet, Quiet Place. Place. Yeah, the same, pretty much the same thing. It's almost like set in a different space of the same universe. It feels like, um, like these flying bat things attack people based off of uh, noise. Um, but so is it good? No, it's not good. Uh, it's, it's horrible. But it's kind of so bad that it's good to an extent. Wait, so it's like a the room? It's like the room. It's not that bad, but. Oh. It just doesn't make any sense in terms of like, because she was supposed to be death. Um, so the, the main character is the young lady from Sabrina, the teenage, uh, the Sabrina. The new Sabrina? The new Sabrina. Yeah, I don't oh. know what her name is. Um, she started on Mad Men. She did? Yeah. Was she How a old is she? little girl? She was Don's daughter. Don's oh, okay. Don's daughter. Yeah, so she's supposed to play this deaf girl, but she's not quite really good at it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Does she know ASL? She does like part ASL and then she speaks as well. So I guess she was like, she became deaf later in life, so she could still sort of verbalize and talk. But it, it was a lot of confusion between, you know, the death and then the talking. I'm like, how do you, you weren't even looking at this person's lips, but you kind of, you're, you know, responding to them. Um, but it was, it was horrible. But I say give it a watch just because it's, you know. You just said it was so horrible. He said, but give it, it a watch. And then I watched, what's his other one called? Did anybody watch a Guava Island? Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I meant to talk Guava about Island. that. Um, yes, I did watch it. Did you see well, it? I didn't see Guava Island. No. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, um, it's an hour-long film. It's kind of like in, it's in homage to uh, Purple Rain. Uh, Donald Glover and Rihanna played two lovers. Uh, Donald Glover is a musician in Cuba. Mm. And like an island called Guava Island in Cuba. And um, there's kind of like a fascist regime going there. And the main guy who runs the fascist regime in his community says, hey, man, I don't want, because... Donald's supposed to play this upcoming festival. He says, Donald, I don't want you to play at this festival because I want people to go to work the next morning. I don't want them to, like, hoot and holler on Friday night and be too tired to go to work tomorrow because everything there is work. Nice. So, uh, you know, Donald has to wrestle with, like, whether he wants to, you know, play music and make the people feel good or, you mm. know, fall victim to the fallen regime. Y'all know how it goes. Yeah. The, the yeah. classic story of good versus evil. Uh, it's pretty good, man. It's a new – he gives a new rendition of This is America. He sings uh -oh. Summertime Magic and Summertime – it's a, it's a good music video. Okay, I got to check that one out. So that's on Hulu, right? Uh, Amazon Prime, oh, but Amazon I don't know if they're streaming it anymore because they had like a they had like a window, like a weekend window during Coachella where they were streaming it. Oh, shoot. How can I watch that and Coachella? Snippets. Right. <laughs> hey, so. Another good Netflix uh, movie I saw was Someone Great. It was Gina Rodriguez, um, Lakeith Stanfield. Um, what's the person's name? Brittany Snow was in it. Um, they had DeWanda Wise who played... Um, She's got to have it, the new remake. 
She's got to have it. Oh, I heard good reviews of it. I liked it. I liked the music. The soundtrack was cold, man. That was a good soundtrack. What's it called? It's called Someone Great. Okay. And so Gina Rodriguez was dating Lakeith Stanfield's character uh, for like nine years. Mm -hmm. And then they broke up. And so this is sort of her trying to figure out what's, you know, um, get her, put herself back together, you know, then this day after they broke up. And it's really good. They got some great scenes where they do flashbacks in their relationships and Mm -hmm. she's trying to find closure before she moves to San Francisco. Um, yeah, I, I loved it because of the soundtrack. The soundtrack was cold. One of the best soundtracks I've heard in a long time. Was it like um, classic songs or was it like new? It was songs? like new, like new hip hop, new rap. Um, okay, okay. Um, what else? Um, and they did a really good job. Like the storytelling was good. Um, I probably recommend. I probably give it maybe out of ten, seven and a half, seven and a half, eight out of ten. I gotta start doing that. I gotta start doing the rating. Okay, yeah. I give Amazing Grave nine point five. Okay. Oh shoot. Um, which is just I, I was in the moment watching it and I loved it. But um, I, I meant to tell y'all, I saw Isn't It Romantic with Rebel Wilson. I oh. was dragged into it. I didn't want to see it. But uh, yeah. I enjoyed it. It was pretty funny. I, it was solid. Wait, isn't uh, that a rom-com parody or something like that? Yeah, it's a rom-com parody. So a woman that, that hates romantic movies bumps her head and gets stuck in a romantic movie. <laughs> so um, Rebel Wilson was pretty funny. They got my man from Workaholics. I forgot his name, but you know him when you see him. He was in <laughs> he was in that film with Zac Efron, Mike and Dave's wedding oh, yeah. party. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, that guy. He was pretty funny. Um, they had uh, Chris Hemworth's brother. They had Luke Hemworth in it. Mm. He Wait. Was, he has a brother in it? He has a brother other was, than Liam? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Liam. Oh, yeah, I knew Liam. Oh, no, yeah. Oh. Liam Hemworth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew Liam. But like... the other brother's on Westworld. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wait, he's what? a security yeah. guy in Westworld. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. He's not as good looking. He's not, he's not <laughs> as known, but he's good, too. But Liam he- Liam Hemsworth is in it. He's uh, he's pretty funny. And I give it a solid a solid 6.5 out of 10. Because okay. it had me laughing. It had some good, good funny moments. Hmm. Interesting. So Black Summer, is this worth it? I ain't watch it. I've been watching Bosch all weekend. <laughs> you love Bosch, man. I love Bosch. I love Jamie Hector. You should yeah. read the books. I should. I mm. should. I need to get back into fiction. I just read a lot of dark non-fiction. non-fiction. Yeah. That makes me not trust the government. You read a lot. <laughs> you read a, a lot hey, of conspiracies. You're too woke to enjoy things. I'm right. way I tell too you woke this. to enjoy things. Hey man, I asked her. I said, "What you think about Paddington too? Mm. Oh, let's make light of the prison system. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "Wait, it's what? not that serious." <laughs> I'm like, are they oh dancing around in jail? Like, yeah. No, yeah. I got to deep. No, J- Jordan, when you go, you don't get jam sandwiches. Nah, uh, no. Nope. You might not eat. You might not eat. <laughs> that was hilarious. That is, that is hilarious. Um, what else we got here, guys? Uh, Iron Man three is a weird movie. I love oh, Iron Man. Good. I love Iron Man one and two, but three was just weird. Out of all of the Marvel, like the franchises within it, Captain America has the best movies. True. Yes, the first one. You know, when I first saw it, I didn't like it, but when I was rewatching it and and you know in procession with everything else, you know the first the first Avenger is pretty good. Like I love mm. the way they capture that time. They introduce Agent Carter. That that was that was a pretty solid movie. Yeah. Iron Man 3, like, it's funny, but I feel like it's just so odd. It starts off great, but then when you, like, learn the identity of, Ma- of the Mandalorian, it's like, wait, what? Mandarin? Mandarin, <laughs> yeah, the Mandarin. Oh, sorry, that's Star Wars, my bad. <laughs> I don't mean to offend. Get them confused. I didn't like Iron Man 2 like that. I like that yeah. one. I love Sam Rockwell. I love Mickey Rourke. He was oh, a yeah. great villain. I love yeah. Iron Man 2. Yeah, I was hoping they would have the actual Mandarin. Yeah. Not yeah. some spoof, mm. so I don't know if they left that open, because Ten Rings... Does exist in the mm. MCU? It's just like the I don't want to ruin it for people who still haven't seen it by now. But no, no, it's way past. Right, Everyone needs to get right. 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 So basically, um, it was it's revealed that Ben Kingsley, who's been playing the Mandarin, the Mandarin, he's like, oh, I'm an actor. They pay me to say all these like hateful terrorist messages to the president, and I'm like, oh, his name okay. is Trevor. Yeah, Trevor. 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 <laughs> of all places, of all, of all things, they got Ben Kingsley playing a guy named Trevor. Trevor, <laughs> Trevor. my God. But um. Guy Pierce did his thing. I like him. I don't know. It's just a weird movie, but I enjoy it. I was hoping they would do more with Extremis. Like, at the end, Pepper is completely cured. Like, it never mm. comes up again later on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, the the scene with all the armors flying around was cool. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I wish they had done more with AIM. AIM. Oh, yeah, AIM, the company AIM. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I gotta say, rewatching the first Avengers, it made me appreciate Josh Whedon more as a writer because just the snappy dialogue he writes between Thor and Iron Man and the yeah. Hulk yeah. and um, Black Widow and all that. I'm like, man, this guy is amazing. You know, he's the same guy that made, you know, Firefly and mm. I think he co wrote Cabin in the Woods. Oh. Yeah, he, he did a lot for that. the Avengers. Awesome, man. The Russo- Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Game- yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> the Russo brothers are good, too, but let's get into Game of Thrones. So you don't watch it, do you? All right, we'll keep we'll keep it easy for you. But um, I did watch the recaps. I, I, again, I don't have HBO. Why, why watch the recaps? If you no, watch the show? I did like a summary. That has someone sort of give me like the basic no, gist of what it is. No, because like everybody gets their own little things out of Game of Thrones. Like I realized that when I was just talking to like when I talked to it to my coworkers because I get things from them that they saw and they get things from me that I saw that we didn't particularly see mm. when we watched the show on our own. But I don't have HBO. I won't be able to see it anyway. Dude, I'm tired of you using that excuse. <laughs> there's a family there's a family video up the road from you. I show you or the in. library that's right. how the, i binge oh watched God. it the second time because i binge watched it the first time allegedly tired of hearing that allegedly. using um my friend's hbo account before i had hbo and i binge watched it like on a phone and a tablet and then i got caught up and then i was like then i got hbo and i'm like yeah. i'm gonna watch it all over again so i went to the library so that i could watch it on the tv mm. And okay. they have all the seasons at the library. I guess I might have to go to the library, huh? Listen, before we get into the premiere right quick, I want to talk about the people that, like, you know those people. I, t- I sent you a text <laughs> about my daddy. There's always the people that hate on the people that love Game of Thrones. My dad's like, so what you doing tonight? I'm like, oh, I'm going to bring my friend and his girl over. We're going to watch Game of Thrones together. Um, he's like, oh, okay. In all eight seasons, uh, in all eight seasons, ask me how many episodes I watch. None. <laughs> and I'm like, ask me who cares. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's always that person on yeah. Facebook that's like, I don't watch Game of Thrones and I don't care. And I never watch right. Game of Thrones. But, like, behi- but behind like, closed doors, they want to text you like, okay, what key episodes do I need to watch? <laughs> like, no, you have to watch all see, of them. See, I would never hate on somebody for watching it. I'm just like, I don't want to pay for the service. You could skip season five safely. <laughs> Was that just the, the, the a puffer? Of, the I don't know. And- Listen, to me, everything's important. I mean, you might meander in the plot a little bit, but everything's important. People say the same thing about season two of The Wire. No, I definitely watch that because that's a great season. It is a great season. It's underrated, mm-hmm. too, yeah. that season. Oh, yeah. Is that the uh, boat season? That's the, the, un- yeah. the Union. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, the Docks. The Docks, yeah, the Docks. The that docks. was a good one. Yes, it was. Mm. They just didn't like that. It, was, it wasn't It was a lot of Stringer and Avon in it, yeah. but it was good. So in, in terms of Games of Thrones, how much incest is in, in that show? I feel like, <laughs> well, listen, a lot. Like, <laughs> listen, uh, I mean, look, I ain't going to lie to you. There is a brother and sister that, that make out, um, but it ain't, it ain't too in your they face. They do a out. lot more than make out. <laughs> they have. No, no, but but you, don't, you don't see any sex scenes with Cersei and Jamie that much. Maybe in the first season, but that's it. Oh. You know that they're doing it, but you don't. It ain't. It ain't. You know what I mean? So they I mean, they throw down in the sept right next to Joffrey's corpse. <laughs> oh god! Oh. With the that eyeball. Was later on, though. Yeah. Like, so not just the first season. With the eyeball rocks. I'm like, whose job is that to paint eyeballs on rocks mm. to put them on dead people? <laughs> I don't Crazy. know. Uh, listen, man. <laughs> don't be deter- so. Listen, the first few seasons, you can tell HBO has a nudity clause, and they want them to be provocative. Just yeah. bypass all that stuff, just man. I'm, I'm telling you, it's 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 or, or nudity or just, or don't. <laughs> Right, just watch it. It's a good show, man. Just listen to me. It's a good show, all right. So this season is going to consist of what six episodes? Yes. Yeah. I thought they said these episodes are going to be like movie length. That's what I thought. Well, the, I was the first, so mad. But the first two episodes are an hour long, and the episodes after that are movie length. Okay. Yeah, so um, I think this is like, I, I look at this as all one season, like season seven and this season, I look at them as all one season, because mm-hmm. this is like the back half of it, like like mm-hmm. how The Walking Dead does. Yeah, six episodes, man. They're getting right to it. I think there's going to be a battle tonight. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Man. It's going to be a battle. It may be. I love I how, <sighs> So we, uh, we got a solid premiere here. You know, yeah. we got people meeting each other, you know. Nobody died. Well, some people did die. Mad. Some people did die. Nobody important. <laughs> like, the main characters are die. We, we got some main characters meeting each other. We got some uh, grievances, you know, um, and we got like a, oh, I love that full circle ending. When Jamie and Bran saw each other, like that's how the first episode ended. That's full circle. Except that's not really Bran, but, you know. Brandon was like, hey, can you give me a push? <laughs> <laughs> hey. But, like, it was funny. Like, on Twitter, they was like, Brandon is everywhere. Like, is Winterfell ADA compliant? Like, he's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 
it's, it's wheelchair compliant now. They're like, yeah, he, he, he can move around now. They said the scene, they said when they meet each other and talk to each other, it's going to be like that scene from Scary Movie 2 where you had the guy with the hand and the guy <laughs> in the wheelchair. They said it's going to be like that. I know Eric looking like, man, I don't know what y'all talking about, man. No, it was I, good, I man. It was a good It was premiere. a good. I, 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 I could be wrong, but I see a little twinkle of disrespect in Sansa's eye when she talking to. And in Danny's eyes, too. Yeah, they don't like each other. But I mean, but when she's talking to, what can I think of his name? John. John, because I'm like he's a Targaryen. When she's talking to John, I think there's a little bit of twinkle of disrespect between. Like she doesn't fully respect John Snow. Well, mm. I think she respects him, but she's like, look, if your sister don't respect me, which how you how you expect me to act with, on that? But I think the thing here is that um, what was I about to say? I don't say? think she respects John. Mm. Well, that's that's one take you could take. I don't I don't I don't think that's true. But when you look at Bran, Bran is grounded in reality. Bran is like, hey y'all, get rid of the pettiness. Yeah, the like, Night King is coming. <laughs> Let's fight. He has your mm. dragon. <laughs> like, right, like y'all 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 focused on pettiness and who's supposed to rule and all of that. Y'all need to be focused on humanity. But you know, it's Game of Thrones. You know how it is. Oh yeah. So tonight we need to watch the battles going. Ha- our battles going to happen tonight, man. So someone's trying to capture the throne, but we're trying to figure out who. See, that used, know, to, that used to be the important thing. The important thing now, which the characters don't even realize, because most of them are kids, when you think about it. They are young, is that the Night King is coming. And he, they're like zombies. Yeah. And they're going to turn it's everybody into zombies. It's the best zombie show. <laughs> yeah. So it's better than Walking Dead? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I heard, I saw this uh, meme that said, uh, bust it down, Cerciana. It <laughs> 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 was funny. With no, with no context, it was still no funny. With no context. <laughs> Did any... Because she thought, you have to earn me. And then she still fucked them. <laughs> I mean, she's lonely, man. Jamie left her. But um, I think, if you see the Sesame Street clip where Elmo's talking to Tyrion and Cersei, <laughs> like the real <laughs> actors, he's like, you know, we get in fights too, but we don't kill each other. You know, I love my brother and sister. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So, y'all, we got. are we going to do a show for um, the end game or no? Um, are y'all seeing it before Sunday? Because yeah, I'm, I'm seeing, seeing it, it before Sunday. Yeah, I'm seeing it on Saturday. Shoot. I was going to see it Sunday. If I see it Sunday morning, I'll be straight. Well, yeah. Let us know, man. Cause if I'll not, see it Sunday if, morning. If not, we're going to honor the code made by the director saying, look, at least wait a week or two before you start running oh, yeah. the movie. Forget the code, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, because I don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't seen it. No, I'm, I'm definitely going to go see it in the morning on Sunday. Okay. So, let's yeah, let's have the show about that one because I, I need to recap this. Cause I'm excited. I started too late, man. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to watch some stuff at work. I, I, I mean, I got I got a lot to go. I got a long ways to go, man. Man, you need to take Friday off. <laughs> nah, man, I ain't doing that. You got to. So I, I don't can't. know. Were we on air? Were we talked about this. I don't think we were. So this guy is gonna go see um, Endgame at two a.m. Two fifteen a.m. Two fifteen a.m. It's a three hour movie. And then he gonna go to work. They gonna go to work. Like, but that's no. perfect though. I see a movie, and by the time it's over, I can go to work. Man, you gonna be asleep at work? No, 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 no. When I get off work Thursday night, I'm going to sleep, and I'm waking up at one a.m. and then I'm going to crash it with my girl, and we gonna see the movie. And by the time it's over, we heading to work. Yeah, it's perfect. That's not me, man. I can it's can do perfect. It. Yeah, man. crazy as hell. I'm going <laughs> one o'clock in the afternoon. Right. I'm calling in sick, allegedly. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's hope, hopefully, no one's listening. Allegedly, I'm not. I'm going to see it. I gotta do it for the squad, man. I gotta do it for the squad. I man. guess, I guess, man. But I'm looking, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm excited. But um, those are the links that you have to go to to avoid spoilers. But you all think because you, we have social media addiction. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and who knows that somebody at the, at the boogie concert ain't gonna be talking about it. I'm paranoid <laughs> as hell. I can't do it. But do you all think that um, three hours is too long? No. No. Not when it's an epic it's an film. It's game. Yeah. But is this the end? Are they going to start over? But you know, there's many theories here. I mean, they could reverse time. You know, I know Captain Marvel can do something with that, maybe. And mm. you could say um, all the films that come after this are before the snap. You could mm. say a lot of things. We don't know. Mm. All we know is right now they're dead. Because there is a Spider-Man movie. Uh, yeah, that's true. We just heard that Spider-Man uh, is the end of Phase 3 and not the beginning of Phase 4. Well, there you go. Oh, okay. It was before the snap, oh. right? That's what no, you mean. No, no, it's no, post-snap, it's though, but it's like conclusion to the arc. Oh. Oh. Endgame is not the end of Phase 3. Okay. T- in chronological order, or are you talking about like order of like releasing films? No, it's chronologically after Endgame. Who mm. confirmed it? Kevin Feige? Yeah. 
Okay. Spoiler alert. Right. <laughs> well, if it's coming from the boss man himself, they might. It's a spoiler. They, they might have a surprise in store for us. Um. All right, so I think they should have an intermission. What comes back to life and then goes oh, back to school? Oh, I wish it had an intermission. It needs to have an intermission. Just like give me a ten minute break, halfway through, so I can just sort of get more popcorn. You know, use the bathroom. Use the bathroom. Right. This is the strategy yeah. you got to use, man. I, you come I'm, with somebody, you go with somebody, and be like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna go to the bathroom with this time. You tell me everything that happened. Whisper in my ear. You go, and I'm gonna tell you everything that I happened." I don't like that. I went with my kid, and then she had to go to the bathroom. I love you. But she had to go to the bathroom, and then when I came back, I'm like, what happened? And, oh, yeah, Gamora got tossed off the, the coop. So, I missed it. So let me translate that. So, so you know, Gamora, um, she, that, that green lady, she got killed, she, and, um, you know, it's like, well, how well, I had to killed? take her to the bathroom, and I asked my mom, I'm like, what happened? And she was like, oh, yeah, Gamora got tossed off the. See, that's what I don't like. See, I, don't, I just hold it. I make sure I hold it through the whole way. I can't. You gotta I can't pee e- beforehand. I can't, I can't e- cause I get an extra large drink and oh, it's usually yeah. gone by the time the I previews are over. <laughs> I, I, I can't enjoy anything if I have to pee. You know, <laughs> you asked. It, it's trouble, to, so do you all? All right, I got a question. This is kind of strange. Maybe a strange question, but do you all eat your popcorn when the movie starts, or do you eat it before? Oh, all my snacks are gone before the movie starts. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to save for the movie, but I eat during the trailers. I have to wait till the movie to start. Like I got to. I just that's a weird pet peeve of mine. I don't get popcorn. I get like food. <laughs> I get like pretzel oh. bites sometimes. I get food. You and know what's the nastiest stuff ever? Putting milk duds in the popcorn, man. Oh, I had a friend. Oh. That, I had but a fr- I I get the saltiness and the sweetness. Mm. I get wanting that. My friend yeah. did that once. Um, a friend of mine we went to go see Twelve Years a Slave. And all of a sudden, he just how can put, you eat during that? Right? <laughs> exactly. He put the milk does in the popcorn. I'm like, dog, I'm, I'm emotional right now. You messing up my food? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't tell you. Like, you should have got a little separate little container because he tried to play it off like, oh, oh no, oh like, no, my, my fault. Oops, it spilled. <laughs> I'm like, dog, really? I get that, but I wouldn't put milk does. Yeah. He sounds like the kind of guy who also cuts a hole in the bottom of the popcorn container. <laughs> <laughs> He almost pulled that on me. What? No, no, I'm just what? kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I told y'all my daughter listens to this show. Oh, she, she ain't going to get oh, it. Sorry. She ain't yeah. going to get it. Yeah, yeah, but um, I'm looking forward to it. So Won't I'm the popcorn fall out? <laughs> right, where would the popcorn go? <laughs> that's, that's up to you to explain. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> oh, uh, we're corrupting, we cor- I mean, corrupting this, young minds right this now. This is a PG-13 slash R-rated show. Right, we yeah. keep, we keep you know. it fairly... You know, really we told a line. We told a line. We do. Um, I, mean, I think that might be be it for us. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's it, man. I told y'all we can we can postpone other thing to another show. For so real. the next show is Endgame. Let's Endgame. do Endgame, y'all. All right, make man. sure you watch. Oh, are you gonna see it already? You're good. I'm gonna see it, but also I'm not gonna be here next weekend. Oh, come on. Uh, we no. need you. We need the hand claps. Whoever, well, whoever fills in for you, we gotta make sure they watch it because I don't want to ruin it for them. And oh, we gotta make sure they leave the room for a minute, you know. Right, like see, yeah. Well, not at the whole episode, really. The but. whole episode, yeah. But yeah, yeah, this has been another great episode. Please like, share, and watch Beyonce. Don't watch Beyonce if you don't want to. <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> Captain Marvel better not be weak. She better bring the pain. But yeah, yeah, watch Beyonce. <laughs> like, like and share. Oh, is that it? That was like weak ending. <laughs>